Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a 2.4 engine guys, multi-air engine that's been used guys on Dodge uh, Dart, Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Compass, Renegade, Chrysler 200 and 500 X guys, and you're trying to replace guys your vacuum pump, okay, brake booster vacuum pump guys, we'll explain where it's located and how to replace it. Now we'll guys have more than 200 videos on this 2.4 engine and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys, hit that subscribe button, like the video guys, leave a comment below and let us know if the video was helpful. Let's start on it now. All the tools and parts guys that we use in our videos, you can find the links in the description of the video for your, uh, for your convenience. This is it guys, 2.4, looks familiar, uh, familiar to you, it's been used on so many cars. That's a good thing because parts are very affordable since they fit from many vehicles. First thing that we need to remove, okay, we are going to remove that tension cover. Just pull it up. You have two clips on the front, two on the back. Okay, I'm going to flip it this way and I'm going to show you where the clips are located now. You can see those rubber bushings. Four of them. Okay, they go in these things. Okay, right here. So I'll move that thing to the side. Now, looking at it guys, that way, okay, on the exhaust camshaft right here, you're going to find, okay, you're going to find your uh, booster brake, booster vacuum pump, okay, right here, this is it guys, pretty, pretty simple design, it's on the valve, driven by the valve, uh, so we'll explain guys, okay, how to remove and how to replace that, now, not very complicated at all, so let me come on this side now. Okay, first thing, I'll push that one in so I can show you how to disconnect the hose. Okay, let's hold it like that. So, if you grab it on right here, stretch both of them out a little bit, push two on the other side. Okay, push it up like that, pull it out. You have to be very careful, okay, not to break something. Now, I'm going to get a 13 millimeter socket, guys. Okay, one second. And... We're going to remove a couple of bolts now. Okay, let me make sure it's a 13. This bolt right here now. Okay, you can see this bolt. So, looking at it, okay, it's this way right there. So, I'll go ahead. Get this one loose, okay. Let me make sure it's a 13, it's not a 12 because, nope, it, it looks like a 13 but our socket is a little bit wore out. So what I'll do guys, okay, I'm going to grab the uh, offset box wrench to see if I can start them with. Okay, this is one super, okay, super tight bolt guys. And I'm very careful here because I don't want to break the computer, the car computer, because if you hit the connector, okay, you can break your ECU. So one bolt will come out. Okay, check it out now. Very long bolt, right? So we're pulling that one out. Now we have one more on the bottom. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Same thing, guys. Okay. You can kind of get the idea where it's located all the way down there. And the good thing about those bolts, once they start going guys, okay, usually you can unscrew them by hand, in most cases. Okay, check it out now. This thing started getting loose as well. Okay, all the way out. Now guys, right here, we have to make sure that we remove one more bolt. There is one more on top. Okay, you can see it's kind of uh, a little bit hidden. Let me show you where it's located. Okay, you can see under this wiring harness right there. This is uh, the third bolt, guys, okay, that we need to remove. So, let me see, I might need to get the extension here, actually, with the socket, so I can fit a little bit better, because it's all the way under the cables. Uh, 
Uh, hopefully I don't break something. You have to be careful not to break that. Okay, that thing right there. Okay, this one came loose. What I'll do, I'll just get the extension now without the ratchet and see if I can remove it that way. This one will be a shorter bolt, so we have two that are the same length on the bottom, guys, and one on top that should be shorter. We'll compare them in a second. Okay, now. Let me show you about the bolts quick. Those are the three bolts. Okay, you can see how long they are. Now, this pump, guys, okay, we shouldn't have anything else holding, okay, the vacuum pump. There must be a gasket here now, holding it in place. Okay, so let me make sure that there is nothing else and we are going to go ahead and uh, remove it. I'll get a flathead screwdriver. Okay, done put on the plastic valve or anything like that but gently okay you can see this is a gasket right here this is a gasket and now if I grab it with two hands guys I should be able to pull that okay vacuum pump out and now you actually guys have to go only one way through the top, this is the gasket. Now we have another little gasket. Okay, let me show you where it's located quick. Okay, that little gasket right there, guys. You can see this gasket as well. So every time you remove it, I will recommend guys to replace the gaskets as well. We have the links in the description of the video below where you can buy a new replacement pump and uh, gaskets as well. So. That's how we guys remove it, installation, you have to align everything, okay, it goes, uh, goes only one certain way, align it, push it in guys, and uh, you're ready to go, so, hopefully guys, the video will be helpful, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos, and see you guys next time.